data or is it data? Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I'm going to use the word data. And I'm going to ask people to please let go of your emotions. YouTube is full of projections all about emotions. I feel like the market's going to do this. I feel like houses are going to go down this far. It's going to go down 30%, 40%, 50%. The thumbnail changes every week. But what's the data? What's behind it? Now, I'm going to tell you to go back to 2008. Do your own research and find out what happened to financial institutions and look at today. Look at inventory today compared to inventory then. Look at sales today compared to sales then. I'll show you a couple numbers. But I want you to treat 2008 like a bad breakup. Let it go. <laughs> There's no comparison between what we're going through now and 2008. Is it slowing down? Yes. We are down 1.3% in prices average per square foot in July or August versus July, 1.3, not 30, not 30%, 30 not 40, not 50. We're not in crash territory. Could we? Anything can happen. The wheels can fall off the wagon. But here's where we're at. This is the interesting part right here is that the, I've talked there, are we going to hit a listing ceiling? And now I'm starting to feel more and more like that could happen because we're sitting here at 7, 17,500 and then we went 17,696. We were growing on active listings at about a thousand a week and now it's tapered off. One of the reasons is, and here's accepted contracts versus back on market. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, we had a little blip here where we had more, more accepted contracts. We had down here at a low of 1429 and that was in right before the 4th of July. And then now we're at 1803. This other line on the bottom here is uh, back on market. So that really doesn't mean anything. So we have more contracts written. And with more contracts written and the amount of listings that are coming on, as you can see here, we're still hanging around 2,800 new contracts over a seven day period. And new listings, not active, I keep saying that because new listings add to the current inventory. And if they're not being removed with a higher number of sales going under contract, that number is going to exponentially grow. And it keeps going down to this day. Now, compared to 2008, so we're sitting here at a low of 2,700 to 2,800 contracts on a seven-day moving average. That is a historic low. That happened in January of 2008. Sales went down that low. So we're there. Sales are down. The difference is we're sitting here with active listings at about 18,600 right now from what I pulled up. And at the beginning of 2008, we were at 55,000. So at 55,000 over 260 days of inventory, and sales at 2700 and no ability to get a loan of course things crashed everything just fell apart like i say go back and take a look at what caused that crash and then look now and see if you can see that now there are headlines there are stories there are lending companies that are going bankrupt and that are going out of business the difference between now and then again looking at the data back then when all of these loans were being bundled up, they were with big financial institutions, banks like um, Countrywide, um, Wells Fargo, Chase. Now they have backed out of the mortgage business as a rule. They're, they barely got their toes in it. And it's been shifted to independent lenders and brokers who borrow money, package the loans, and then sell them. They're brokers. And some of them, when the interest rates hiked up, lost their cash cow, which was refinancing. That's where they were making all their money. So you're seeing places like Lending Tree laying off 600 people. You're seeing independent lenders and brokerages all over the country going belly up because they're getting a margin call. That's actually good for the industry as a whole because those margin calls are making them, uh, you know, 
pay up and it did they didn't bundle them into mortgage-backed securities and sell them and nobody knows who owns them so there's going to be some pain there are going to be a lot of those type of lenders go out and the banks are not really jumping in right now to say well we're going to make up the void so you're going to go from having thousands of these to a handful of really good ones that are solid the problem is they don't have the capital that a bank would have. They don't have capital reserves. So they're always operating kind of on thin margins. And that's a simple man's version of explaining what's going on. But it's going to make big headlines and it's going to make you think, oh, the collapse is coming. Well, you can still get a loan. And there are some adjustable rate mortgages that are out there and they're getting beat up pretty bad by the general public because, oh no, we're doing it again. But some of them are decent. They're seven one arms and ten one arms at the four point six range. That's not a bad deal. Um, I wouldn't go with anything shorter than that. But there are solutions starting to come out now. Our sales right now are sitting at two thousand eight hundred every seven days. And if rates go up, and I think they will, um, it's pretty obvious. I mean, you don't need a degree from MIT to know that we're going to have pressure on rates. There is some thought that they could come down too, so there's arguments on both sides. Again, do do your research and check it out, but follow it closely. But we had a bad week. They went up this week, and uh, um, if rates go up, you have to wonder how much lower can that seven-day moving average get when it's already at 2,800. And where is the incentive for people to start listing their homes? Right now, they're all sitting on low threes, low fours 2.9 mortgage rates they're not they're not going to list so we did see an initial wave of listing simply because sellers thought uh oh here it comes an emotional move i was going to sell in september i better sell now because we all know it's going to be worse let's get our house on the market so we saw a big wave of that and now I think we're hitting that listing ceiling. Here's what's going on today with buyers, though. And sellers, you need to be aware of this because the, the mentality out there right now for buyers is that no matter what you're asking, they're not going to give it to you um, because buyers are feeling like they're trying to catch a falling knife right now. And so they don't want to get in and offer you full price. Even if you just reduced your price from $600,000 a day to $500,000, they are going to offer you four seventy. dollars dollars it doesn't matter what floor you reached on your pricing. The buyers just can't wrap their head around giving you your asking price. So you'll see houses where prices have come way down and it's actually the best price in the neighborhood. Nobody wants to write a full price offer. Now, open door, that's a whole different ball game. They way overpriced their home. So you're seeing $100,000, $150,000 reductions. That's different than what I'm talking about, just the average person that's putting their home on the market. And they started out too high, but then they marked it down to a reasonable price per square foot. In fact, you can look around at the neighborhood and see, wow, this is the best bargain out there, but nobody's going to write a full price offer. So be mentally prepared for that. And it's okay to wait it out. I mean, days on market are going to hurt you, but you know, you don't really need to throw your price down to the floor yet, but understand that, you know, there will be a buyer that comes around and recognizes the value. So just be careful there. Have good conversations with your agent when it comes to knowing what's going on. But let go of the emotion right now in this market and just look at the numbers. And right now the numbers are showing you that sales are at the very bottom. Rarely have they ever been any lower than they are right now. And listings are not exploding. Until those two dynamics change, we're going to be sitting right here. In fact, the level of price declines that we are seeing is now starting to subside a little bit simply because new listings are not coming on board. So... Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care.